Hey guys, it's YouTube. It's Tanner and Chrissy from YouTube. We're here back again. Uh, we are the editors at Common Sense Education. And what we do is we talk about ed tech and we give you our take on it in this weekly series. And this week, Chrissy, you've got something to show off. Take it away. Who, me? Okay. Well, this week, I'm going to talk about let me share my screen so you can see it. Here we go. Teachers to teachers, global math stories. Now, first of all, it's important to know I was not a math teacher. I was an English teacher, a high school English teacher. As a child, I didn't enjoy math very much. However, when I came upon this free tool, I thought to myself, self, would I have liked doing this in school? My answer was yes, I believe I would have. So let me tell you a little bit about it. You can see <laughs> that, that's the kind of from... rigorous analysis we bring. To... <laughs> we do, we sit I would have in liked a dark it as a room. child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we just do deep <laughs> introspection on what, and we just consider would I have liked this if my life as was as a different? child? Four stars. <laughs> no, that's not how we do it. It's not how we do it. But the good news is I, I would have liked it. That's true. So here's what you need to know. Um, let me go ahead and take you to the site. Basically, this was an endeavor started by a middle school math teacher. So that's already pretty legit um, because he was a person who knew what teaching math to middle school students was all about. And um, what he decided he wanted to do was make math education equitable. So he wanted to add some elements to math education that expanded the reach and expanded the efficacy. Um, so this isn't just about resources, it's also about professional development. So that's a big part of what they do. Um, I am going today to focus on the actual resources, which can take the form of worksheets that you can print out, which is pretty great. Um, so, so what happens the, is what, as what you you're scroll, saying is this, this was a, they're a nonprofit organization. They are a nonprofit organization. Yes. And, and their mission is to offer quality math instruction in other places. And then these resources yes. are an example of the kind of things they offer, right? Yes. And okay. basically the rest of the site um, is informational um, and it showcases the programs that they have and offers you to donate to those programs. So these resources are the things that you can actually use as a math educator. Um, so you can check out the different links uh, around different countries and each one, let me go ahead and, and click into, here's Asia and you can see there's, there are all different choices here. Um, and you see that the titles really have nothing to do with math on the surface. So let's go into the honey harvest. Okay, so from Bangladesh, this is all um, about the honey harvest there and the bees. Um, and it gives a lot of background information about this practice, about this cultural situation. Um, and what is really cool is over to the side, if you decide this might interest your students, um, they have a slideshow that gives background information. And then here are the math resources and it's for grade five in this case, um, which is all directly related to the information here in the article. Um, extension questions. And the extension questions are generally um, focused on equity in some way or sustainability. So it kind of takes the concepts that are explored in the article and applies them even further and draws in some more uh, subject matter. Um, and then if you want to go further, you can explore those links. And there's also an invitation on every article to share your own global math story. Um, 
So what I like most about this is you are getting a lot of information that could appeal to um, a wide range of students. Um, for instance, a student who might not consider themselves a math person, um, and they can explore this topic, get some cool cultural information, some social studies subject matter. And then there's applied math that is uh, authentic. So it's applied to this actual cultural practice um, that happens in another place in the world. And let's see. And then if you want to go further, you can use the extension questions as well. Um, yeah, what I like about this is it both the content works from two different perspectives. So it makes it more relevant for different parts of the globe. If teachers are teaching in these different regions and there's content that maybe doesn't often speak to that geographic region or that culture, but then it also provides a way for people in other places to learn about those regions. So it kind of works from both perspectives at one time. That's kind of a cool approach, I think. Yes, and I think what appeals to me most is the authentic application of math to something that kids just read about. So it's instead of sort of out of context word problems, um, kids are getting this subject matter knowledge and then applying math concepts to it, which feels really interesting and fresh. The biggest drawback I think about the site is that there's no way to sort. As you could see, um, there, there's no way to sort by grade level or by math concept, which is a, a huge drawback. So you really do have to poke through and figure out what's gonna work for your classroom. Um, but if you find the right thing, you can see that year after year, these might be really useful. Yeah, this seems really well aligned. And I was just doing some typing, trying to find this because I couldn't think of it off the top of my head. But you know those, uh, I believe it's the UN Sustainable Development Goals. It's like a set of learning standards aligned to these kind of broad goals that are about sort of equity, like worldwide and sustainability worldwide. It seems like this program is really well aligned. Like if you're already teaching those kinds of standards and concepts, this fits really well and sort of is a way to make math relevant to those concerns that maybe might more often happen in a social studies context or something. Yes, agreed. And always important to note that completely free, right? There is- uh, Completely free. Yeah. Yep, completely free. And um, this particular resource is actually featured in uh, an article, a recent article on our site as well, all about math worksheets. Yeah, which great. has some other resources featured too. Yeah, and no, the other thing I love about it, you don't even have to log in. You can just, you know, it's just there. You can just grab it and go, and you're you're off and running. So it's a cool, um, easily implemented resource. So if you want to see yes. that review, I will link it in the description, so you can go check out the full review. Uh, we have tons of other reviews. Once you go to that review, you can just start browsing the whole website. We have thousands of reviews of all kinds of educational technology as well as advice. And we also offer a digital citizenship curriculum. That's totally free. We are a nonprofit as well. Um, and of course, you must subscribe to the channel. We are updating weekly. We are coming at you weekly, every Tuesday with a new no reprieve. Review. Yeah, you, 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 no you, there is no break um, no until escape. the end of time. Yeah, you are, you're hooked into this. Um, and once you subscribe, you can't unsubscribe. I don't know if you knew about that on YouTube. It's impossible to unsubscribe from anything. So you're, you're, no. in, it, you're in it for life. That's it. Um, and I guess that's it. We'll see you next Tuesday.